day everybody just an update here in the greenhouse uh, as you can see here the cucumbers are starting to uh, wrap things up though I still do have a, a few nice cucumbers one here and one that I keep bumping my head into um, but I mean they're still growing they haven't haven't stopped yet so that's all right um, <clears throat> carrots in the bucket Uh, not really, not really any any size to them. Fish there. Sorry about that. And beets are pretty small in here too. Um, jalapeno peppers. Still have plenty of those. Uh, in this box here, I have some green peppers. With the weight of the peppers, have actually uh, made the whole plant fall over. We have uh, a huge amount of tomatoes which are just starting to ripen up now. And I've actually had to tie extra strings up to the top to help support the weight. Same with this uh, green pepper plant here. It's, it's loaded up, but I don't know if you can tell, but and lots of aphids, but pretty well the uh, the end of the year anyway so I don't think I'm gonna be too worried about them anymore anyway and same with this tomato plant just uh, lots and lots of tomatoes well let's uh, let's go outside and check out the garden here that was was really Excited about having a pumpkin growing, and then, uh, yeah, that's that's what's become of it. So I won't be getting any giant pumpkins this year. This is my uh, the the yellow, or not the yellow, but the hot wax pepper plant but as you can see I've picked all that um, here the beets are doing well actually these are cylindra beets and as you can see here they've actually grown right out of the ground here we have some rutabagas rutabagas sorry proper pronunciation and Good size one there. Last year, I think I had one that was just a little over two pounds. Carrots are coming along. Not too bad. <laughs> Look at this one here. Can you see it? There we go. It's actually uh, sticking right out of the ground. Uh, the onions I'm kind of surprised with. They uh, haven't really started to fall over yet and they're still growing and here we are what first uh, week of September. Of course the uh, sorry, sunflowers are doing well. Here I have a uh, cabbage. That's a good size. This one here hasn't uh, hasn't really headed up yet, but I think they're a cold crop, so even if we get some frost, it shouldn't hurt them any. Here we have the uh, herbs growing, just kind of letting them go to flower there now. Uh, this is what's left of the potato bed. I think I'm going to dig these up today and see, see what I got. Over on this side, I'm just letting the Brussels sprouts go to flower and hopefully I can collect some seeds from them. Here of course I have my the Brussels sprouts which are doing fairly nice. If you want to get a closer look inside. You can see if there's 
plenty of Brussels sprouts growing on them. Yeah, looking pretty good. Back up here I have the strawberries and they're just starting to starting to run there now. I'll probably pot some of those up and move them around. Now this is surprising. My asparagus, as you can see, the month of September are actually growing asparagus again. I mean, you know, this is my second year growing asparagus, but I didn't know that they actually grow twice. Interesting. Not at the least. Grape tomatoes growing. These are my beef steak, and you know, I thought they were supposed to be like a big tomato. And it's probably not any bigger than what my celebrity tomatoes are. These are yellow tomatoes. If you get past the color of the yellow, they're a really tasty tomato. And here you can tell that we've gotten lots of rain because the tomato here is actually starting to split. And these are uh, Bonnie Best. And my zucchini plants are still producing zucchini. See the one down there? No, let's see. There we go. And another one right there. Anyway, there's my short update for the month of, uh, or the first week of September. I was hoping to do it in a long weekend, but I had other plans that were much more important than, uh, than me looking up. There you go, guys. Not a whole lot of potatoes, but... Get some.